Hello and welcome. My name is Babs. I am so happy that you are here and joining me for this practice. This is a lymphatic flow wrist-free practice that will improve our digestive health and our lymphatic drainage in our central lymphatics. So it's a very gentle, free-flowing class. So we will begin on our back. So come and join me. Placing the palms up towards the sky so that you can find an opening in the shoulders. Notice your body just resting on the earth. Notice the points of contact that your body makes with this earth. The backs of your hands, your spine, your bottom, your heels, the back of the head. And then just allow there to be a rise and fall of the center of your body. As you slowly take a breath in through the nose, you feel the belly rise up towards the sky, chest lifts at the end. And then a slow and controlled exhale out through the mouth releases the belly down towards the earth. Chest surrenders down. Let's take five more breaths to yourself so you can count on your hands as you do this. Inhaling for one, two, three. Exhale for one, two, three, four. Take four more at your own pace. gently bring our knees into our chest. <clears throat> One knee at a time, hands to the shins, and then we'll just begin a nice slow side to side movement. Keeping up with this slow and controlled relaxing breath, maybe lighten through the face by lifting the eyebrows and then relaxing them down. Just allow yourself to start slow here. Even though the mind might be running in all directions, you wanna get going, move, just let yourself ease into the relaxation so that the practice is more beneficial to you. And then slowly lift the legs up, hands behind the hamstrings. And then gently start to roll the ankles in one direction. You can keep the knees nice and bent, or you can straighten them out. And then reverse the circle, go in the opposite direction. And then slowly bend through the knees, and then inhale, lift and straighten the legs. Just waking up our legs. Getting into some of the lower energy centers, into our pelvis, just to ground us before we engage in our movement. And then slowly drop the feet to the earth. Kick the bolster out of the way if you had it underneath your knees. Plant your feet into the earth, hands rested by your sides, and put the palms down into the earth. 
and then push into the hands so you can really feel the strength in the arms and then push into the feet so you feel the low belly lift up so you feel the core engaged so you're still rested onto the mat but you're pushing down to feel that strength and then bring the arms closer in towards you and then bring the feet closer in towards you so the heels are close to the bottom Take a look at the knees, make sure that they're hip distance apart. And then from here, again, push down into the feet and into the hands. And maybe this amount of pressure lifts the bottom up a little bit. And then inhale, start to really push deeper into the feet as you lift your hips up into a bridge. So just a slower, more controlled way to come up into this. Feel the thighs lifting you up, feel the palms connected to the earth. Gaze is either with the eyes closed or just straight up at the sky. Breathe in here, lift up a little bit higher, you can do this. Exhale, slowly start from the mid spine as you lower gently each vertebra down to the earth. Maybe a slight little adjustment throughout the spine. Let your pelvis come down. Glue your low belly into your, into your back so you feel the back of the spine push into the earth. And then now bring the knees into the chest, hug the knees in, and then find some movement with the knees in a circular motion. So bring the knees forward, back, and around. Both knees going in the same direction. And then coming in the opposite direction. And then planting the feet down to the earth. We're going to slowly bring the knees to one side and we're gonna come up into a seated position to clear our neck and chest and begin our drainage. So whatever seated position feels better so you can Come up onto the shins, maybe place a blanket underneath your bottom on the heels. This is a nice relaxing way to, to find some grounding. Hands to the thighs, sit up nice and tall. With the eyes closed, the shoulders relax, just notice your breathing in this moment. See if by our breath while we're grounded to the earth allowed us for some more opening in the center of the body. So just resting here on the heels, just relaxing. And then inhale, we'll sweep our arms up, stretch the arms up. Hands come down to heart center, and then you can either come into a cross-legged position seated, or you can stay with your bottom to the heels. And then we're gonna begin our manual lymph drainage. So starting at the chest, hands across the chest, five to eight circles in towards the neck. Palm nice and flat on the chest. You can always do it one hand at a time, two. Switch to the other side if you were doing one hand at a time. And then coming to the sides of the neck, either hands cross at the neck and stretch the fingers back and then down, or heels of the hands connect as you stretch the skin back and then aim it down to the collarbones. As you glide, back the neck your sides of the pinkies can go right underneath the jaw to give the jaw a little bit of drainage too and then bring that fluid down let's do that about three more times you might already start to feel a release and then we'll lift the chin up slightly and then gently just Draw the fluid down with the hands. So you're just coming from the top of the chin all the way down to the heart. 
And then let's do a little bit of face drainage while we're here. So we'll place our hands right on top of the face and then the hand nice and wide. We're just gonna stretch up and down. So creating little rainbows here. So starting at the chin, moving out towards the ear and then drawing it down and then coming to the top of the lip. So imagine that there's just little segments all along the face. And you're just going one at a time, going across and then down. Moving out towards the ears and then drawing that fluid down. And then when you get to the top of the head, we're gonna imagine that we have a part that goes from the bridge of our nose all the way through the back of our head and just split the fingers apart down that part as you draw the hands down the head. So just a little bit of dragging any stuck energy or worry from the brain down. Just imagine your fingertips are just washing away any stress or tension similar to a waterfall just cleansing and clearing. And then we'll come back to the chest, hands across the chest just to reopen and clear any fluid that was brought back down towards the heart. Take a few breaths here. And then release the hands down towards the knees. And then we're gonna take our fingertips right underneath the ribs. And we're just gonna do a, like you were playing the piano, just gently move your fingertips all along the ribs. So our two primary breathing muscles are our diaphragm that sits underneath the ribs and the intercostal muscles between the ribs. So find just a gentle massage opening. If it hurts your wrist to do it that way, you can also just do some kind of pumping around the ribs with the palms of your hands, maybe the heels of your hands. And this is just to open up this area, release any tight fascia that's stuck between the ribs and then release the hands down for a moment give the arms a rest kind of shake it shake it out a little bit wiggle it out a little and then just close your eyes for a moment hands back to the thighs or the knees and slowly take a breath in through the nose and feel how open the belly can feel allow to really puff out opening and then slowly blow the air out a few more times like this. Imagining your belly as a balloon as it fills and slowly blow it out. And then we're going to find our way back on our backs, but this time make sure that there's something underneath the knees so grab a pillow if it's nearby, a bolster, placing it underneath. And then find a soft, comfortable position that your body feels rested in. For me, sometimes opening up the legs into a little bit of a butterfly shape externally rotating the hips helps to open up through the low belly a little bit more but maybe you keep them straight whatever feels best in your body and then we'll start at the right hip so we'll take our hands over towards that right hip and you're gonna make some circles here around and kind of in that inner hip so the circles are just stimulating that area. Don't worry too much about where the fluid you're aiming it. Just find some massage and scooping in this area. Imagine in your mind like an ice cream scooper kind of going in to some soft, smooth ice cream. That's 
the back edge of your hand is this little scooper. Breathe into this as you're doing it, just kind of opening up through this area, noticing if there's any areas of tenderness or if it feels okay. And then come to the outside of the hip if you can, maybe just that right hand. And just massage all around that right hip, maybe to the low back a little. You can do a little bit of circles here. And then place both hands to that inner right hip. And we're gonna breathe in, and as you do this, give a little resistance to the belly. And then exhale, release. One more time, so you inhale as the belly expands, it pushes into the hands, hands into belly, and then exhale, release. So we're gonna make our way to all four quadrants here. So now we're gonna come up, up underneath the right ribs, and then same thing here, spend a moment doing some circles here, getting underneath the ribs, maybe on top of the ribs, either both hands or one hand. Notice if there's any areas that feel good as you massage, soften all other parts of your body, so relax the legs and your jaw. And then hands to that top right quadrant. You're gonna inhale to push the belly into the hands. And then exhale, let it go. Breathe in. And out. And then you're gonna come across the body to the left ribs underneath and again find some circles either the palm of the hand doing big circles or maybe the fingertips kind of gently glide underneath this area if an area is tender just back off go slower and just breathe into it and then plant the hands, palm on top of the back of the hand. And you're gonna take two breaths here. Inhale, give a little resistance. And exhale, let it go. Inhale. And let it go. And then come to the last quadrant here. Lower left side, left hip left lower back, doing some circles here. So whenever you're doing any type of massage, try to go in that direction we just did. So coming from the right side across the top and then down the left. That's the way our colon, our intestines go. So improving the motion will help to improve our digestive trap and things to run or move more efficiently and then place the hands to this area inhale to push the belly in and then exhale and then one more time and then exhale and then we'll take our hands to that right hip and we're going to slide our hands up the ascending colon so up towards the right ribs over towards the left side across the transverse colon and then down towards that left hip descending colon. So you can make these circles deep or soft. They can be slow or they can be a little bit more of a fluid movement. Make sure you're breathing as you do this. And then coming to center, we're gonna find about two inches above our belly button. And we're gonna place our hands there. And we're just gonna do a little bit of scooping action here. This is where that thoracic duct that brings all the fluid from the lower half of the body up begins. It's something called your cisterna chile, which is 
basically this big cluster of lymphatics here in the center of the body. So doing some gentle pumping up and in towards the rib cage will help to move the fluid quicker, similar to like what we do around the neck and the chest. And then we'll go a couple inches below the belly button and find that clockwise circular motion. So up the right, across and down. And then just imagine that the stress is just unwinding from this area, releasing off of you. In your mind, maybe you imagine kind of a circular staircase that as you make this circle, you're just slowly going down the staircase into more relaxation, more power, more strength. And then release that, release the arms, just rest, close your eyes, breathe in. And out. Two more slow breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Another breath in. And out. And then we'll draw our right knee into our chest. Keep that left leg long. Hug this right knee in. And then we're going to make some circular movements with this right hip. And bring that knee across the body into a spinal twist. Remove the bolster from underneath that left leg or pillow. Gaze is over towards the right. Breathe into this right side body to really feel the twist, improving lymph drainage, movement of our digestion in this area. And then slowly rock yourself back into center. Bring both knees into the chest. And we're gonna find some circles with the knees. We're bringing both knees out to either side and then back and in. So you inhale, lengthen the arms as the knees come away. And then exhale, you round back and in. And extending the right leg long, left knee into the chest as you move through that left knee. Circular motions. And then hugging the knee in, cross it over to the right side of your body. Left arm extends long, gazes over the left. Notice the breath through the left ribs, left side body. Draw it back into the chest, knee into the chest, hugging it in. Both knees come in. And then nice and slowly allow the legs to just fall to one side and just rest on whatever side you chose. And then slowly come up to a seated position. Lifting through your spine as you sit up nice and tall. Take a moment to arrive and then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, slowly palms come down to the earth as you just allow your head to rest down. So whatever degree that you're able.
slowly lifting yourself all the way up. And then we're gonna bring our legs out to one side and we're gonna find a child's pose. So taking the blanket or the pillow or the bolster between your hips and your heels, let your hips rest onto the heels and then walk your upper body either straight out in front of you or the arms come by your sides, a little bit less pressure for the arms. Connect your forehead either to a block or to the earth. Feeling the thighs, gently applying resistance to the lower belly, maybe the ribs. And then rising back up, slowly coming all the way up, we'll reach our arms up, stretching them towards the sky, wiggle the fingers, and then exhale, releasing the hands down by your sides, and we're gonna glide up onto our shins. So remove the blanket or whatever was behind you. And then Arms by your sides, palms facing forward. Bring the knees hip distance apart. Letting the shoulders melt away from the ears. And then bring the palms together in heart center. Close your eyes. Feel the stability of your legs and your core. So with your eyes closed, just imagine where your body is in space. Maybe clench up through the glutes for a moment so you can feel the activation and then let them soften. And then tuck the toes under to feel the strength in the quadriceps as you slowly lean back a little bit. And then coming back to center, arms by your sides. Untuck the toes and push the tops of the feet down in towards the earth. Inhale, glide your arms up, stretch them up. Gaze up towards the sky as you stretch up. And then using your core strength here, we're gonna slowly glide the arms back as your chin hovers over the earth. Inhale, reach up, rise up with power, control, strength. Exhale as you release any tension or worry or stress stuck on you. Let's do it three more times. Feel free to go slowly. Imagine that you're gliding through water or you can move a little bit more fluid, a little bit quicker. Take one more. Really let it out on the exhale here. And then inhale, reach up, rise up. Release the right hand down as you gently side bend towards the right keeping the strength in the center of your body as you do this, maybe gaze up towards that left armpit, and then slowly lower it down. Inhale, reach both arms back up, releasing left arm, reach up with the right, and then side bend towards the left. Taking a moment to notice the expansion, and then inhale, reach both arms up, Exhale, hands come down to heart center, and then shift your weight over towards the right leg so that you can slowly bring that left foot forward. Inch the left toes forward. Maybe you need to help it along to bring it up, that's okay. And then just slowly move forward and back. Maybe pat up that right knee with the blanket. Hands can come to the thighs for a little bit more. Tuck the back toes under. Maybe bring the back knee back a little bit. And then from here, we're gonna come to a center position. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the left. So open arm twist to the left. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, open arm, twist to the right. One more time, each side, breathe in. And out, breathe in. And out. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And then hands come down to heart center. Shift the hips back so that you come off of 
that left foot and then bring that knee all the way back to center. Nice job, everyone. Move slowly, good. And then just rock side to side. So that took me a long time to be able to have that core and hip strength to bring the leg back and forth. So that's something you can try for a few moments is just to bring one foot and then the other. So let's slowly shift our weight towards the left and then bring that right foot forward to plant it down. And then again, just finding some movement, finding where the strength is in your legs, just breathing as you do this. Maybe hands come to that right thigh, maybe the toes tuck under. And then inhale, sweep the arms forward as you lean forward, reach up. Exhale, twist open towards the right. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, twist open towards left. One more time, each side, breathe in. And out, breathe in. And out, and then inhale, reach up, rise up, stretch up, hands come down to heart center. And then intentionally, slowly bring yourself back. Tuck the back toes, find a little bit more stability. And then see, just bring the toes to the earth and then maybe you can bring that knee all the way down. And then just slowly sink the hips towards the heels. Nice job, everyone. Open up the knees and we'll sink back into a child's pose for our final few moments together. So just breathe into this child's pose. Just notice the strength that you just created Breathe into this child pose to set an intention for more peace throughout this week. For more patience with yourself and those around you. For more balance. For more structure and accountability. Breathe into this child's pose with all of those goals and intentions that you have created for yourself. Let them sink in to your heart, to your mind. And then rise up on the next breath in. We're gonna inhale, reach our arms up, opening ourselves up to good energy and joy and good karma. And then the hands come down to heart center and we'll slowly make our way onto our bottoms. Keeping your eyes closed, keeping your mind still. Placing both hands over the heart, sitting up nice and tall with an open heart, mind, body. Thank yourself, send a wave of gratitude to your whole entire body for being here, for engaging in this practice, and for taking the time to set goals, to allow for more power, control, and more peace in your lives. And then inhale, reach up for the last time today. Palms connect, thumbs come to the third eye, connecting mind to body. Give this area a little bit of a massage. And then thumbs come to the heart, give this area a little massage. And then you can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another in this virtual space. Thank you all so much for being here and for sharing your energy and I will see you next week.